oh my god i really suck in geography so when i came here i was like where is this i knew it was close to russia but if you just show me a blank map i will have some difficulties point, point it but no i know of course it's a country in europe in the world uh, ukrainian people mostly live in it uh, i know kiev is the capital i know lviv a lot of um historical buildings and like beautiful places sites it has a lot of mountains it has a lot of green places a cold country <laughs> ukraine flag blue and yellow i know they they speak two language ukrainian and russian well uh, i know but i shouldn't speak about politics <laughs> so many problems because of russian there is a political problem because of uh, uh, occupation of Krim, you know, uh, it's common problem. Uh, I can make empathy with you, with the Ukrainian people, because uh, also the 20% of our country is in the, under the occupation. And this problem, the reason of that problems is Russia. I know some historical things about Russia, between Russia and Ukraine, some political things now also. It was like a strike, yeah, in 2014. They have kind of war, not war, but uh, problems with politics right now. I'm not very informed about it, but I know something. So you have bad present, I guess. Parashenka, <laughs> Russian. I was thinking the same thing for Russian too, like, I mean, for, like, that part is really rude people, something like, really rude people, like, they are not polite or do something. So, but after go Ukraine, or meet some Ukrainians, like, I start to feel like not all like that. I, I was crossing the border and they more polite than the Polish people. Because when I went to Lviv, at first I felt like in my second house, like, Everyone is hugging me, everyone is trying to help. I have been in Ukraine one time. The Ukrainian people was so friendly. I saw it. And I just dropped my purse and Ukrainian guys, uh, girl and guy, uh, they found my uh, bag and purse. And I was too, too happy about it. And we were talking like, oh my God, how good people you are. <laughs> So I really, I really love Ukrainian now. <laughs> For me, Ukrainians like they are humble people, they are good people. But in fact, Indonesia is like Ukraine will have a lot of war. Is I'm not wrong? So, so it's like kind of weird for me because like the people are so nice, but I can found the war in Ukraine. So this is a quite complicated country because it was <clears throat> in the part of Russia and now it's like independent. A country with a lot of problems, like with Russia. And but I still know they like nationalists because of this and I know they have a lot of revolution. I mean maybe every ten years. Maybe I will go one day, why not? Uh, if there's a good country with uh, good cities. And also they have the food is somehow the same. And I really love Vishnia sweet with kind of pierogi and also barsh and also the potato pure with mushroom and cheese and potato pancake is the best one yeah and handmade chocolate good alcohol uh, they are drinking too much vodka i know this and they're a bit crazy they don't have sense of humor they oh, they have really bad jokes they have good boxers <laughs> like Lichko. and football clubs dynamo Kiev. So I know football player Shevchenko. For me, I will not do that cliche. It's happening in Turkey, like oh, a lot of beautiful girls, blah blah blah. I know Ukrainian girls are pretty. Ukrainian girls are really beautiful and kind, especially girls. <laughs> So beautiful. Also, girls are beautiful. Beautiful girls. 
beautiful woman. That there is a lot of beautiful girls in Crane. Not always, but there is a lot of beautiful girls. <laughs> I want to say hi, Lydia Yakovleva. <laughs> She's really cook good. I mean, she has really good food, but she tried to feed you a lot, something like. <laughs> Eat. <laughs>